In this video, I'll introduce the idea of a limit at a point. Here is a function f of x equals 12 times x over 2 to the 1 over x minus 2 power minus 16. And here is a graph of this function. If you look closely at the formula, you notice that the exponent has a fraction that is undefined at x equals 2. This causes the entire function to be undefined at x equals 2. So let's look at the graph carefully at x equals 2. Since f is undefined at x equals 2, the graph of f has a hole when x equals 2. x value of this hole, we can ask, what is the precise height of this hole? Unknown value on the y-axis. It looks like this value is roughly 3.8 units. If we were to zoom in, we could better estimate the height of the hole, but it would still just be an estimate. Instead of zooming in immediately, let's think about a systematic way to find the height of the hole as accurately as desired. This precise value is denoted by the following notation. This notation is read as the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. So the precise height of the hole is the value of this limit. This limit exists if it's possible to approximate the height of the hole using f as accurately as desired. So let's find this value as accurately as desired. Say we want to estimate the height of the hole to within 0.01 of the actual value. To start, let's find an overestimate to the height of the hole. We can see that f is decreasing, so evaluating f using values of x less than 2 will yield overestimates to the height of the hole. So let's pick x equals 1.5. The length of this green line segment is f of 1.5. When we evaluate f at 1.5, we get 5.333. So the value for our overestimate is 5.333. To determine how far off our estimate is from the actual value, we can consider the error for the estimate, that is, the difference between the overestimate and the actual height of the hole. But since the actual height of the hole is unknown, the size of this error is also unknown. On a graph, we can label the error as the vertical distance between the height of the hole and the overestimate. By looking at the y-axis, it's pretty obvious that the length of this red line segment is greater than 0.01 units. So, Instead of picking a value for x this far away from 2, let's pick a value for x that's closer to 2. Let's move x closer to 2. So now the value of x is 1.99. The overestimate is now f of 1.99. And when we evaluate f at 1.99, we get 3.809. Since the error is not even really visible on the graph, we might think that this overestimate might now be within 0.01 of the actual value. Let's zoom in on the graph to better see the error. Since we don't know the actual value of the height of the hole, even though our approximation is better, we don't know for sure if the error is less than 0.01. So how do we guarantee an estimate that is within 0.01 of the actual value? Well, if we find an underestimate of the height of the hole, then the difference between the over and the underestimate is shown by the length of this orange line segment. The length of the orange line segment is at least as large as the length of the red segment, which is to say that the error for the overestimate is less than or equal to the difference between the overestimate and the underestimate. So if we make this difference between the over and underestimates less than 0.01, then the error for the overestimate will also be less than 0.01. For our underestimate, let's use f evaluated at 2.01, which is 3.76. So the error in using either of these approximations is less than or equal to the difference between the value of the overestimate and the value of the underestimate, which is equal to 0.049. But this difference is greater than 0.01. Thus, we are not guaranteed that any of our approximations is within 0.01 of the actual height of the hole. So, 
Let's make the values of x closer to 2. We'll stop once the difference between the overestimate and underestimate is less than 0.01. Now, the overestimate is equal to 3.789. And the underestimate is equal to 3.78. So the difference between the overestimate and the underestimate is 0.009, which is less than 0.01. So any approximation of the height of the hole between 3.78 and 3.789 will be within 0.01 of the actual height of the hole. So now we've found an estimate of the height of the hole, but our main goal was to think about limits. So what is a limit? We already stated that a limit exists if it's possible to approximate the height of the hole using f as accurately as desired. I gave an example for finding approximations accurate to within 0.01 of the actual value. But we could find an approximation to within 0.005 of the actual value. Or we could find an approximation to within 0.0001 of the actual value. Or we can make the error as small as we'd like. We can make it so small that the overestimate and underestimate become virtually indistinguishable. When this happens, the value that the approximations approach is the value of the limit. So this is what a limit is. It is the value that the overestimate and underestimate both approach as we approximate the height of the hole as accurately as desired. And in this example, to three decimal places, the value of the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x was equal to 3.785.